Tenders! Welcome to week 10, day two. Today, we're gonna learn all about the dime and a quarter. But before we get started, I wanted to share my favorite money song to sing. Ready? How much is a penny? How much is a nickel? How much is a dime? How much is a quarter? A penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is worth 10 and a quarter 25. How much is a penny? How much is a nickel? How much is a dime? How much is a quarter? A penny is one. A nickel is five. A dime is worth ten and a quarter twenty-five. All right, so that is my money song. Our learning goal for today is I can Describe the attributes of a dime and a quarter. Hmm, what's that word attributes mean? But attributes is a way to describe or tell about the object you're looking at. So today we're looking at money. So we're going to tell all about the things that we notice about a dime and a quarter. So if you would like to participate with me today, make sure you have a dime and a quarter handy. So you can pause the video so you make sure that you have those two coins before we get started with the lesson. Okay? Alrighty, do you have your coins? Do you have your dime and your quarter? Okay, so this is my play money because they're the same size. But I'm going to get some of the real money so we can notice the attributes. Here is a picture of the dime, okay? So you have a dime in your hand. I have a dime in my hand. So first of all, we're gonna talk about what we notice on the head side. And the reason why we call it a head is because there's a head of a president here. Alrighty, so this president's name is Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Mm. He's the president. That's who, that's the name of the guy on the front, okay? That's on the head side. So when we see the head, we know that this side is the head side, okay? What do you notice about the size of the dime? Is it a big coin? No, it's the smallest coin. So, it's small. Okay. What else do we notice about our dime? How about if you touch the outside of the dime? What do you feel? If I run my nail across the dime, it makes a noise. It's different than a penny that doesn't make noise. Do you know what these are called around the dime? They're called ridges. So a dime has ridges on the outside. Okay. Now, we talked about the head side and what we notice in the size. How about on the back or the tail side? What do you notice about the tail side? And so this is the head side and then the tail side. Do you see the word dime on the tail side? Yes. That word says dime. So if you forget what coin it is, you can look at the tail side and see it's a dime. Okay. There's also a torch and some branches. So a torch, branches. Okay. What is a dime worth? What is its value? So if we say, I have a dime, 
How much can we spend it for? Think back to the song. How much is a penny? How much is a nickel? How much is a dime? All right, so the value of the dime is worth 10 cents. Okay. So when you're talking about value, that means how much it is worth. So when we're going to the store and we want to spend our dime, we need to know that it's worth 10 cents. And when you're talking about coins, you write the cent sign next to the amount so we know that we're working with coins. Okay, so this is our dime. These are the attributes that we found on our dime. Okay, let's talk about our quarter. What do you notice about the quarter? Ooh, the head on this quarter, the president is George Washington. He was our first president. So George Washington is on the quarter. What else do you notice? Do you notice the word quarter on the head side? Right, the word quarter on the head side. So if you forget, it tells you it's a quarter, okay? What's the value of a quarter? We talked about the value of a dime. It's worth 10 cents. What's the value of a quarter? The value. Right, it's worth 25 cents. And remember we put the cent sign there because we're talking about coins. Okay, pick up your quarter. Do you feel the outside of the quarter? Ooh, does it kind of feel like a dime? Run your nails across if you have any. So when I run my nails, I can make the sound just like a dime. So that means on the outside of quarter are, right, ridges. Okay. Now, turn to the tail side of a quarter. Does your quarter look like mine? Does it have a bald eagle? on the back. It's okay if it doesn't because quarters come in all different tail sides. There are state sides where they'll have different states on the back. And then there are national park sides where they'll have different parks and people on the back. They have a different quarter on the back that's different than a regular quarter. So this is a regular quarter because it has a bald eagle. Bald eagle. You don't know the eagle is bald, but that's the name of the kind of eagle. So that's what he's called, a bald eagle. And this is what you see on a regular quarter. But you might also see quarters that have different tail sides, and that's okay. So you have to remember that a quarter is worth 25 cents. It has George Washington on the head side, and there are ridges, and it's bigger than a dime. It's not the biggest, but it's bigger than a dime. And out of the four coins, it's bigger. Okay, so we can write that it's bigger than the four. Others, three. Okay, so it's bigger than the other three. But the most important is to remember that 
George Washington is on the head side. It has ridges. And you know what? We didn't talk about it on the dime side, but what color is it? Yes, you could say gray, but these are made of silver. So we call these silver coins. Silver. So now we have a coin that is silver. It's different than a penny that's brown. It's a silver coin. So we have quarters and a dime. Look how small the dime is compared to a quarter. But a quarter is worth 25 cents and a dime is worth 10 cents. So just because it's small doesn't mean it's not worth a lot. Okay, so you learned about a quarter and a dime today. Those are your attributes, ways to describe the coins that you have. What's the value of a quarter? All right, 25 cents. And what's the value of a dime? All right, 10 cents. So that's one attribute you can describe your coins as. Then you can describe it as size. A dime is smaller than a quarter. That's a size. Then you can talk about the head. George Washington is on the quarter. Roosevelt is on the dime. It's okay if you don't remember his name. You just need to know that it's a dime. Okay, so let's talk about our practice set for today. Practice set looks like this. You're going to get a handful of coins and sort the dimes and quarters. Then you're going to crayon rub or draw to show how many dimes and quarters you found. Okay, so Miss Cotton is going to teach you how to crayon rub. I love crayon rubbings. So get, so this is a dime. You put the dime under your paper and then you color over it. But I'm not gonna color over it yet because I'm gonna get my handful of coins. So I have my, my piggy bank and I took out my handful of coins. So of course, as you can see, I have all different kinds of coins. So I need to sort my coins to make sure I know how many dimes I found and how many quarters. So our mission is only to find the quarters. And make sure you look at it to see. Alrighty, look at all of these coins that I have left over that are not dimes or quarters. So I can put this back in my piggy bank. So I found four quarters and two dimes. So two of my quarters has bald eagles. And the other two don't. They have a different. Oops, might be upside down. Yeah. So these are your state or your national park quarters. So I'm going to flip these to the tail side and flip my regular quarters to the head side. As I crayon them. So what you do is you take your coin and put it under your paper on the quarter side, of course. You put one finger on one side of the coin and one finger on the other side of the coin to hold it in place. So as you're coloring over it, it doesn't move. So you're gonna color oh, back and forth right over the coin until you see the details of your coin. Here's my quarter. So since I found four quarters, I'm going to rub four times. 
Oops, I didn't hold it, so it moves. Kind of wonky. So make sure you hold it, your finger on either side, so it doesn't move. Because you want to see what it looks like. One is neat. And then my last one. Now you can use as many different colors as you want. But I just decided to do quarters in one color and dimes in another. Okay, so I found two dimes. So I'm going to do one head side and one tail side. the dime you have to hold good because he's small. That's my dime. And my dime. Okay, now if you do not want to do the crayon rubbing, you can just draw it. So I said I found two dimes, so one circle, two circles. I could put a 10 in there so I remember that it's worth 10 cents. So you can draw it or you can crayon rub. But I think the crayon rubbing is kind of fun. I enjoy it. Okay. So this is your practice set. And then on the bottom it says, tell an adult what the is the difference between a a dime and a quarter. So we kind of talked about it in our lesson. So you can tell an adult something you find that is different between a dime and a quarter. Okay. Now before we leave, Ms. Cotton would like to share something with you. So remember when I talked about how there are different kinds of quarters? Okay. So Ms. Cotton is kind of like a coin collector. I love quarters. So I collect the different kinds of quarters. So these are the National Park quarters. And the other quarters that I have been collecting since I was in college, I guess, are the state quarters. So there's all this one. And I have a few more that I'm missing in this one. But yes, I love quarters. I collect other coins too, but quarters are my favorite. So, if you like coins, you can become a coin collector too. Just make sure you remember how much they are worth and how you can tell the difference between all of your coins especially the dime and your quarter okay all righty i want you guys to have fun stay safe 